Here's the deal with nitrate rich vegetables. Uh, the, the, the reason we talk about them in the first place, the reason why they're even important is because hypertension, which is high blood pressure affects an alarmingly large number of people. If you are living with high blood pressure, write the word BP in the chat box. Okay. Just the letters BP. And what that means is that finding ways to treat your high blood pressure and bring your blood pressure down is a very important topic. Uh, high blood pressure can be a significant risk factor for a stroke and for a cardiac event into the future. And anytime your blood pressure is elevated, it's not a good thing. Okay. So if you go to the doctor and your doctor says, okay, you know, they do a blood pressure test and they find out that your blood pressure is, let's say 135 over 105. Uh, they're going to be like, oh, hey, Mr. Johnson, uh, it's time for you to start taking some blood pressure medication. Then they're going to prescribe you a pharmaceutical drug that's going to be effective at lowering your blood pressure. The question is, why is your blood pressure high in the first place? And secondarily, do you need to use a medication? And the answer is uh, most people end up with a high blood pressure due to a number of different lifestyle characteristics. Being overweight can increase your blood pressure. Having a high fat diet can increase your blood pressure. Eating animal based foods can increase your blood pressure. I'll show you some research about that. And um, being sedentary can significantly imp impact your blood pressure uh, in, in the wrong direction. But what most doctors are unaware of is that you can eat food that will lower your blood pressure. Okay. There are four foods in particular that have a very powerful uh, blood pressure lowering effect. These are the four nitrate rich vegetables that. I would strongly recommend having into your diet, okay? Number one, beets. Number two, arugula, otherwise known as rocket if you are outside of the country, which is by far a way cooler name than arugula. Number three, spinach. And then number four, Swiss chard, all right? Now, these four vegetables are four vegetables of a large collection of vegetables that are all nitrate rich. What the heck are nitrates and why do we care about them? Nitrates are compounds that are present inside of these vegetables in large quantities. And when you consume the nitrates, the nitrates get reduced to another compound called nitrites. And the nitrites then serve as the building block for a gas. And the gas is called nitric oxide. This is not the kind of gas that you generate inside of your digestive system that makes you fart. This is a different type of gas that's inside of your blood vessels. And it is released in, in like ridiculously small quantities, but a tiny bit of nitric oxide release causes blood vessels to do this. They go from being like yay big to all of a sudden yay big, okay? It's called a dilation of a blood vessel. So when you eat these foods within an hour, your blood vessels inside of your heart, these are called macro blood vessels, large blood vessels in your heart, in your arms, your muscles, your, your lower body that are fed by these very large blood vessels, those blood vessels just get a little bit bigger. And that's good because they can deliver more oxygen to tissues. But then in addition to that, Blood vessels that are inside of your kidney, that are inside of your eyes, that are inside of your brain, they also begin to dilate. And that's a really good thing because that perfuses or allows oxygen to get inside of those, those tissues. So when you eat these foods, these foods are a very simple way to get blood vessels to relax a little bit more, give oxygen to tissues, and that in turn lowers your blood pressure. So if you can get into a habit of eating one serving or two servings, if you really want to get an A plus per day of any of these foods, like you could have beets for lunch and then you could have some spinach for dinner. You could have arugula for lunch and Swiss chard for dinner. But if you can get at least one serving, hopefully two servings per day, then this can be a really powerful substitution for blood pressure medication. The last thing I'll say is that we're not doctors and we cannot tell you when to reduce your use of blood pressure medication. That goes beyond my, you know, my, my medical expertise. So what I want to tell you guys is if you're working with a doctor, please work with your doctor and say, hey, look, I'm putting these in my diet. My blood pressure is going down. Let's try and use this as a substitute. And when you do that, we have found there's a lot of people who can get off of blood pressure medications, and it's a pretty darn powerful approach with zero side effects.